Hello this is Theatrics, by the time you see this I will be back in Brisbane. This is unfortunately an ISS wrap up. Why? Because internet has failed in both locations of where I was meant to upload the video. I'm very sorry, there's nothing I could have done about that. However, I did promise a Harley Quinn question and answer thingamajig. I've got something even better, I've got an alter ego on camera, Elise Archer. Hope you enjoy yourself, goodbye. It's a music segue! and welcome to the questionnaire with Miss Elise Archer who if you don't know her personally you've never seen her without white grease paint a mask and a tight skin suit on before <laughs> so um this is Miss Elise Archer how are you doing today? I'm really good thank you okay so I have some questions for you and I'm going to be quite as quick as possible I am not talking sense right now so I'm just going to get into the questions do you think you'll ever stop cosplay? Oh. Look, it's possible, I suppose, but um, it's not on the agenda for the foreseeable future. The wind was really loud, so we had to change location. Let's continue with the question. There, uh, to clarify this question, there are two hyenas that Harley Quinn and the Joker own called Lou and Bud, and you were asked by a form spring, Lou and Bud, who do you prefer? You picked Lou. Why did you pick Lou? Well, Bud's the truth awesome. is, I wasn't actually thinking of the hyenas. Oh. I was thinking about Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. <laughs> and just as a personal preference, I like um, Costello a little bit better. Next question. Fan fiction. How does it work with you? And are there any plans for you to come to the US this year? Alright, with fan fiction, um, so my main passion is Joker and Harley as a couple, as a relationship. So I like to think about what kind of things do I want to see play out between them and everyday life kind of inspires me. Um, I, and, and a lot of the time for me I'm thinking about like what kind of themes or aspects of their relationship that I want to see depicted. And when I write it tends to like kind of just burst from me like projectile vomit. Um, where I just and it just goes and comes and comes and comes. <laughs> <laughs> it comes and comes and comes. Um, <laughs> okay. As for plans for the US, really depends on money. So we'll see. Um, ideally, I'll be over for San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con, and Dragon Con in an ideal world. But we'll see if any of that happens. Next question: When is Harley's holiday photo shoot going to happen? It's happened. If you check the photos on my DeviantArt in my Facebook photo section or on my henchwench.net website. Next question. Is there anything you won't do to express your love for Harley? I won't kill anyone. Um, <laughs> maybe. Good. Maybe they're a bad person. If you got the chance to join the Cirque du Soleil, would you do it and leave everything behind to do so? Yes. What? What was your favourite Harley Quinn moment? Um, look, there's a lot of really great moments, but I guess my favourite is in Harley and Ivy number three, um, Hooray for Hollywood, where she riffs off um, William Shatner and um, Ivy corrects her on something and she goes, Don't correct me! It seconds me. What is your favourite and least favourite thing about cosplaying? Well, my favourite thing is just basically being Harley for a little while. Um, my least favourite thing is probably just um, witnessing the kind of bullying tactics and elitism and stuff that happens in cosplay with people dissing each other on how they look or what size their body shape is or how good their cosplay is because I really feel like cosplay is something that should be accessible to everyone and enjoyed by everyone. But you know, like I've been really lucky to meet so many amazing people through cosplay who are really good friends to me. Um, and so, you know, you just, you learn to avoid those people and just hang out with the, the cool ones. I don't know many chords, so I'm gonna sing it like this. What's your favourite inspiration for your cosplays? What are they? It's Harley. You know, it's just basically Harley. Thinking about what would Harley wear or seeing a costume that Harley's worn in a comic and just going, I want to do that. It's just basically Harley. Everything she is, everything she stands for. Final question. Would you consider coming to London Comic and Film Con at any point? And hosting a Harley Palooza? Yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely would. Um, the only, you know, I get... I get asked almost every single day, would I consider going to this Comic Con, this Comic Con, this Comic Con? The answer to all of them is yes, absolutely. The only thing that holds me back is finances. If I get the money together at some stage in the future, count on seeing me there. If anyone wants to sponsor me, let's talk. 
And I have one final thing to ask you. Apparently, you run this little fan club on Facebook. Like, uh, like um, it's not yours. I don't know. Or no, it? it's for this dude that I know. Uh, is it like John, <laughs> John O'Sullivan? <laughs> yeah. Is that it? No, I, I, I think. Maybe. <laughs> That's me. It's Jack. Go in the go. Go in the thing. Do you go into Facebook and just look up Jack O'Brien fan mm. club. Mm. I'm one of the admins. Mm. If you join, it's my personal guarantee that if you come up to me at a convention or anything and say, I love Jack O'Brien, I give you a big kiss on the cheek. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for having me on your channel, Jack. Yeah, you're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> marker. Um, um, what was, what was? Harley okay, Quinn. Okay, okay, okay.